A private hire drivers and delivery riders will soon be able to join associations that have the power to represent them legally and act on their behalf. Singapore's labour movement says it will form new associations to champion these workers' rights and welfare if Parliament passes the Platform Workers' Bill. Nashira Rohim tells us more. Bracing rainy weather and navigating busy streets just to get their job done. But these delivery riders and private hire drivers don't have the same protections as full-time employees. Their jobs are also heavily reliant on technology. App glitches can delay their work impacting earnings. Incentive structures sometimes work against them. And it is hard for workers to raise issues with the platform operators. Some of them is uh, maybe due to riders' issue. Having exam example recently about the vape, vape cases, passenger vape on the car. So, how should we attend to this issue, or the seatbelt issue also? So, if driver cannot convince the riders to belt up, they will get fined. So, how are we going to address this issue? There are now three associations representing taxi and private hire drivers and delivery riders. They represent around half of platform workers, or about 35,000 workers. But they don't have the legal right to take action or negotiate on behalf of workers. Things may look up under a new bill, which will allow for the formation of union-like groups. What the the incoming law does is it gives it the ability to say that we are now the authorised association, we are the association that represents these individuals and because this is something that we have formed by way of law, you, the platform operator, will need to engage with us, you need to, to speak to us and you, you need to address any concerns that we have. If you don't, then there are certain recourse that we can have under the law. Mr Ding adds that such groups will give more visibility to gig workers. The labour movement hopes to attract at least 60% of platform workers to join their associations. They also expect more part-timers and those who are in between jobs to sign up. So when we set up these uh, associations, the key goal is as usual in NTUC, we want to forge win-win with our employer partners. In this case, uh, platforms that are operating in Singapore. So that they can do good business in Singapore, provide essential services for consumers, and our workers have a fair deal too. Other measures in the bill will ensure that the health and safety of platform workers are protected. They will also be able to claim work injury compensation. Their wages will increase by up to 17% through central provident fund contributions from platform operators. This will be gradually rolled out from 2025.